Hi, I'm Elise Mori from StarTarot.com. In this video I talk about what it means to be an ethical tarot card reader. I talk about the theory, what that means in theory, and I talk about the practice and where that's, that theory has actually led me in, um, in my many years of giving tarot reading. Number one is to spy on someone using the tarot cards. What's that guy doing right now? Is, he, is my husband cheating on me? And number two is, I'm not a doctor, right? I'm not a lawyer, I'm not a marriage guidance counsellor, I'm not a family coach, I'm a tarot card reader, right? And so what I can do is I can tell you what's in the tarot cards, but I can't tell you if you should leave your husband or if you should, um, I'm not a, an estate agent, I can't tell you if you should move to Canada or North Japan, I can't tell you any of these things. Right? All I can tell you is what the tarot cards say. Number three um, thing to not ask a tarot card reader and a tarot card reader should never really answer is like giant life-changing decisions. So <clears throat> those are the three big no's of an ethical tarot card reader. Meanwhile, back in reality, um, let's see how that really plays out in, in, in like real life. So number one, don't spy on anyone. Right? A, a woman asked me about a guy that she was, she is in fa was infatuated with. Right? He's a drummer in a band. So um, I said, well, I can't tell you that because, you know, he's not in the room and he hasn't given his permission and stuff. And, she's, and I said, but what I can do is I can kind of ask the tarot cards about, you know, him and you together, you know, what that could mean and, and the, you, know, you know, what the tarot's advice is about that. So she wasn't very satisfied with that because what she really wanted was like insider gossip. So anyway, I laid out the tarot cards in a, in an, a square of nine, so a three, to, three by three grid. And in the middle was the, the Knight of Wands, which is, you know, the drummer in the band, right? The charismatic guy with sticks, right? <laughs> Wands. <clears throat> And, um, and all around were like the facts of his life. So I could clearly see he's looking into the eyes of um, a woman who is, uh, I think it was the Queen of Cups. And behind him, there was the Queen of Wands. So that's his wife and his mistress. And there were all the material facts of his life like laid out there on the table. And I was thinking, you know, I'm supposed to be an ethical tarot card reader. And I was explaining all these things to her. And she wasn't enjoying the tarot card reading at all. And she was just looking at these like things and going, and not smiling or, you know. And I said, would you like some more information? She said, no, I'm, I'm, I've really, I've had enough. Um, and now I'd like to ask about the status of my relationship with my husband. Okay, so the number two thing I want to talk about is don't give advice to somebody that is going to radically change the course of their life, right? For example, um, somebody asked me, um, should I leave my husband? We've been in couples counselling for years. Um, his relationship with my children from a previous marriage is really bad and it's really heartbreaking. And I'm, I've just really had it with this guy and I just want to leave him and start again from zero. And, you know, I really don't see how it's going to work out. Right. So um, I can't give you that information. Right. Because what happens if I say to you, yeah, you should definitely leave your husband. Right. And it turns out that um, that was a really bad move. So obviously, you know, we have to trust in the tarot. But, um, yeah. Or what happens if I say to her, yeah, you should stay with your husband. And what she hadn't been telling me was um, that he beat her and that she was in, in mortal danger because, um, because that happens. The lead card was the Six of Swords, which basically means a family going for refuge um, or going for refuge or, or going from a place of danger to a place of safety or, you know, bad to good situation in process. And I said... You know, think about your relationship as a process and the things that you're working through are important for you and for your husband and your family, um, you know, to work through as a group. And number three, really big no-no, is giving advice that you're not qualified to give as a tarot card reader. So that means medical advice, legal advice, um, accounting advice, um, like saying, you know, acting like a therapist or a counsellor, when you're not. Um, so all of those things, basically, just leave it alone, okay? However, however, um, this is when this video gets a little heavy. The other day I was giving a healing to a woman in hospital. So she had been um, prescribed, uh, she had been diagnosed with um, pancreatic cancer, which is really, really serious. And um, she asked me to give her healing. So um, I went to hospital 
and I was giving her healing and I was going to give her a healing and before she said I want to have a tarot reading with you so I said okay fine and I was shuffling the cards and I said what's your question and she said do I really have pancreatic cancer and I'm thinking well the doctor has you know has already given a diagnosis right so anyway so anyway I did the tarot card reading and the tarot reading the answer was the the high priestess, and um, and I explained what the high priestess means um, in terms of you know where she was in her at her life stage, <clears throat> and she said you know yeah thank you you know that's helped me a lot. On the other hand, a woman a young woman once asked me, um, will I ever conceive? Um, not at all ready to conceive, and but in later in her life she wants to know if that was going to happen, and I refused to answer the question. I said if you want to know whether you're ever going to conceive, get out your smartphone, download, download a tarot app and ask the tarot app yourself. Because if I say no, you're never going to conceive, that's going to totally mess up my day. It's going to mess up my week. It's probably going to mess up my life. And I don't want, you know, to feel like that. So she got all argumentative and, you know, I'm paying you and everything. And I said, well, okay, have your money back. But basically, I don't answer those questions um, that really, you know, I'm not a gynecologist. I've never peered into this woman's you know, birth canal. So I, how can I know whether she's ever going to conceive or not? So uh, we talked about um, the theory of being an ethical tarot card reader. And we talked about the practice. What does it mean when you're actually in a tarot card reading and somebody asks you these really, really difficult questions and how to navigate your way through that um, from saying, well, you know, let's look at the status of your relationship to just, no, I'm not going to answer that question. And, you know, you don't have to pay me. I'm, I'm just not going to do that. So, um, if you have any comments, this is a really contentious issue, right? If you have any comments at all, please um, comment um, below this video. Um, and um, if you have any questions, then please feel free to get in touch. My name is Elise Mori. I'm from startarot.com. And please subscribe to my channel. Okay, thank you for watching. Goodbye.